Okay, so welcome to this outdoor bit of my workshop. Look. So another thing I wanted to do was create a a back for a seat that I built last year, and so I've ordered this metal, and uh, obviously without any skills, we're now going to attempt to bend it using this most modern garden roller. <laughs> So, I've marked it up, got a simple formula, I'm marking these straight, this straight bar here, 50 centimetres from one end, 500 mil, and I'm going to put a round piece on this end, if I get this right. that and with no skills whatsoever first of all I'm just simply going to press down with my foot like this hello Jordan hello. I'm just filming a bit of a thing oh could you pass me a lump hammer please Jordan I was just going to ask if you'd be able to move the truck so I can clean the car yeah of course I can do let me do this this is Jordan my youngest boy Say hello, Jod. Hello. And now we're going to bit more of a bend on it like this. And we're just judging it by eye at the moment. And we'll take it out from there. Look at that, it was made for the job. Perfect. And here's one I made here. Really. And it's a little piece of fashion. We just want to. A fraction more. Put it back in. So if you get me the keys, George, I shall. Uh, have you got them already? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a. Just like that. Not bad at all, right? Then all I'm going to do then is on the opposite side from the base measure and say a simple formula 500ml at one end to put the round on but I want to kink on the other side and so I'm measuring up 800ml 80cm here Marking that, and then we'll put a kink in it in the vise. A bit of red net bending. That's uh, 80 centimetre mark there, and all we're doing is pulling it a bit. This end, just to get that little bit of a kink in it. Okay, let's see if we can show a bit clearer this down as the old roller was out of shaft a little bit. So, all I'm doing is I've marked this up at 50 centimetres. And if I line it up with the side of this roller, get it on my mark so I simply press down now like that just to get the round Let's see 
you where that is roughly. Take it out to check it. Yeah, touch more. Touch more. This roller, 1930s, 40s roller, perfect. Let's have a look where are we? Just a tiny bit. Oh, that's right. Close enough, that is. Close enough for me, anyway. Okay, now this one's number five. Right now. Check that before we go too far. Carved in stone above my Rayburn, look at that. Used to be somebody's windowsill, that three quarters of a ton piece of stone. And I think after all that metal bending, it's time for coffee. It is. And the kettle says it's time for coffee as well. So after taking the uh, posts that we bent yesterday, we then uh, Painted the bottom half a metre or so uh, with a bit of um, black underseal I've got lying round, and then we've uh, sunk them into the ground and then concreted round them. So now we've got a line of posts here that will be uh, right round the end, uh, the, the back of the seat, uh, just while the concrete sets. And these are all now nicely in line at the correct height. Uh, some of them need a bit of support, so on this one I'm using a daffodil just to hold this piece of steel up. Build them strong out here. Right, that's it for now. Now, ah, another day. Good morning. A bit windy this morning, but what we've now done for this uh, little bit of architecture is... Uh, I wrapped it round with four lots of this 40mm wide, 3mm thick metal here. So I've wrapped it round. Uh, on the ends I've simply uh, put this bend in by hand. You can see that. I shall finish these uh, ends off, round them off, and we're just done. So We've simply wrapped it round and then uh, we shall bend the end of that one and cut it off obviously there. That was late last night so. 
Well, yeah, that's as far as we've done at the moment. And we'll simply, when we've got those ends in, uh, tighten this up, get it painted, and then to be something just a bit different. Quite happy how it's turned out. Top's curling round, a nice seat to sit on, so shouldn't be too bad. The steel that's gone round here, I made it only uh, uh, add this of 3mm, so I could easily bend it and uh, fit it round here. So it's give us a nice curve on the, on the corners there, on the rounds. Uh, Simply measured equal distance from the top of the seat to the uh, what's it up there to the bend up there, which gives me 29 centimeter centers. So that's what these are all put in, and then they've, we've simply drilled and bolted through. And uh, yeah, hopefully, it'll look very nice when it's finished. Let's hope so. Uh, try and show you how I'm finishing this framework off around the seat set this up you can see I'm just hand bending this it's 3mm and so we're just using this clamp at the end to bend that round to try and get a uniform radius roughly in line with the others we'll check it for level in a minute Let's get there you go. That one brought round a bit. I've made these slightly different lengths, longer going uphill, just to see what it looks like. Just, uh, Yeah, see what that looks like. So that's all we're doing to that. Simple, easy, just done by hand.